What's going on everyone? It's Jeremy. All right, we're focusing on this area of the farm today. That would be the area where all my goats are. So our spotted goats and our white goats. We're missing one. I got a brick link order that I'd ordered 45 days ago and without fail, 45 days when the order has to come from Denmark, it makes it. Let's take a look and see what we got because it's related to this. Well, as you can see, I actually got two hauls. One's a brick link, one's from lego.com, straight from Denmark. What is it? Well, it's something that now goes on the farm. We have eight new goats. And with these goats, yeah, they were a little pricey. I think this little bag was like $41 for what you see here. Let's open it up. My little green pieces, I might use them for a, just some terrain or something. Or maybe build a four-leaf clover or something like that. So there's our new goats. The Lego logo in there, right inside. Oh, it's really hard to see. Maybe like right like that. But anyway, yeah, they were on pick a brick for I think like three days. And then they were gone. So I don't know if they're back right now or not. Um, if you're interested in that, just keep checking. And when I say keep checking, I mean, if you're going to be totally committed to it, check every single day. Because if they're on there one day, 48 hours later, they're going to be off of there again. So if you're interested in the goats... Oh, I forgot this one. I don't know why I did that. Yeah. Alright, what's this other package? Now, this other one is just some pieces. And I see the guy is... Man, you really take this up. And it's really just random parts for the most part. Working on some kind of custom excavator or something with tracks. So that's what that is. We got some red six by wide hoods. Might try to make some red tractors in the future. So just wanted to get a couple extra. A nice little slope piece for a hood of a tractor if I want to do something with that. Same with those slopes. Yeah, when those were a penny a piece, it's hard to pass on black cheese slopes. I think those are like two cents. So just throwing in some random stuff here just because I know I can use those pieces. Now these, these get expensive. They're like 50 cents to 80 cents a piece depending on if you can find them and then nobody ever has more than like one or two um, these are what I use I just stack them and click them together and put about six or eight of them together and that's my hay bales my big round hay bales and then you put a Technic pin through it that you have attached to the front of a tractor and you have a hay spike so that's what those are for and yeah the guy only had two so I bought them both ah grill pieces Man, I thought I had a bunch of these, but I have them all in red. So now I've got some for black. Those are great for all my tra uh, tractor builds. Oh, what? What the, is the deal with that? I guess that's just random trash. I don't know. All right, a couple more pieces. And here's the one piece that the store. Yeah, it's one of the old pieces. And it's because my son lost a piece off of this boat. Um, this comes from a set, I want to say late 80s. The, what is it, Coastal Rescue, I think. And they use this piece as the motor. And would you believe that piece is like a dollar plus? And yeah, I only had the one, so I had to buy a new one, so... We're complete now. More Technic pieces. There's one piece in there that's really important. It's more of the chain links. Some random greens for terrain. 
let's go back to this. Yeah, why is there a... I don't even know what the exact color on this. I need to check my BrickLink mat. It's this light blue. And I don't even know if it's light blue or whatever. But it's for a bluey build. So if you guys are bluey fans... Got these instructions off Rebrickable. And that is a rare piece for some reason. So there's my bluey. Yeah, it's not the best, but... Since we don't have an official Bluey, and for some reason Lego keeps rejecting Lego ideas, Bluey Brickheads, the Bluey House, probably five or six times at this point combined, um, yeah, we'll just make our own Bluey. <laughs> Why not? I've got instructions for Bingo, Bandit, and Chili as well, so I might do that in the future, but I at least wanted to have a Bluey just to say I got one since hardly anybody else does. <laughs> so there you go bluey in all her glory <laughs> all right let's get some of these sheep or sheep geez let's get some of these goats and put in the farm so you guys get an idea of what they look like mixed with the other goats all right we're going to come in get a little bit closer but there's the overview of the farm Let's get a really close-up view showing the goats. Try to show all of it so you can see all their area. And we'll do a other side pan here. So yeah, I didn't want to just stick them all perfectly like linear. So I have a few of them turned just to make it look a little bit more realistic. Here's some more over the top. But yeah, I think they blend really well. So now I've got all three kinds of goats in here. And yeah, nice addition to the farm. We have the sheep, just in case you were wondering. I know I misspoke and said sheep earlier. Uh, we've got the three different kinds of sheep. The baby lambs, the sheep, and then the ones that have the full body coating over the top of them. All right, nice addition to the farm. Nothing else to report right now on the farm. We're getting ready for planting season, so all this is going to come out and it'll get replaced. We got to move the hay bales over, like I mentioned, the hay bales. That one's my test one, just like a, a wrapped, like it's wrapped in plastic. So that's why it looks like that. And there's just one, and yeah, it's really just a test one. But anyway, um, thanks for watching, everyone, and we'll see you in the next one.